Hey, good morning, Kayla. How you doing? It's Costa, your reading partner. It is Tuesday, June 9th. How time is flying. Hey, looking forward to uh, reading you another story. And as I've said, sorry, we can't do this as we normally did. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I hope you did too. And I hope you're able to hear the stories that I'm reading to you. And uh, I picked another one for today. Um, the title of the story is Jacob's Favorite Toy, written by Anne Harth. Jacob picked up his toy bulldozer. It was big. It was heavy. It was mighty. It was Jacob's favorite toy. He carried it to the sandbox. Jacob and his bulldozer made roads and rivers. They made hills and lakes. Jacob, your friends are here, Dad called. Ryan and Mason ran to the sandbox. Look at my new race car, Ryan said. His little car was red and shiny. Look at my new motorcycle, Mason said. His little motorcycle was green and yellow. It sparkled in the sun. Jacob looked at his bulldozer. It wasn't new. It wasn't shiny. It didn't sparkle. The yellow paint had worn off. Hey, boys, Dad said. He pushed a wheelbarrow over to the sandbox. Do you want more sand? Look at them smiling, and look at all the sand that uh, his father's bringing over. The boys jumped out of the sandbox. Dad tipped the wheelbarrow over. He dumped a big pile of sand. It made a mountain. Oh, no, said Ryan. My racing car is under there. My motorcycle is, too, Mason said. Wow, Where, how are they going to get that out? Jacob's bulldozer was sticking out of the sand. He pulled it out. Don't worry, he said. What do you think J uh, Jacob's going to do here? Jacob and his bulldozer dug through the sand. Clink. I think we hit something, Jacob said. Ryan scraped the sand away. My racing car, he shouted. That's one of them out. Jacob and his bulldozer dug some more. Clink. We hit something else, Jacob said. Mason scraped the sand away. My motorcycle. Thanks, Jacob. Your bulldozer is great, he said. Jacob looked at his bulldozer. It wasn't new. It wasn't shiny. The yellow paint had worn off, but it was still his favorite toy. So, Kayla, I hope you liked that story. I think there's a lot of good in that story, and uh, it just goes to show you that uh, oldies but goodies always uh, always work. And, um, you know, as you think of the story, here are some questions to think about uh, if you want to go back and uh, ponder over what uh, what I read. First, uh, the first question is, what is Jacob's favorite toy? I'm sure you know what that is. What color is the race car? And where does the story take place? What toy gets buried in the sand? Actually, what toys, it should say, get buried in the sand? Do you remember? So anyway, Kayla, I hope you enjoyed that story today. Um, again, I wish we could do this like we did before on the phone, but I hope you're doing well. And um, I don't know exactly when school ends, but if you're finished, I hope you have a, you're having a good summer so far. And um, like I said, I will try to keep these up as much as I can during um, every week. And um, I will let you know if I'm not able to. But I hope to read another story to you next week. Until then, you take care. Keep reading. And... Uh, Smile and be happy. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.